up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today, I know y'all been waiting on this. I know y'all been waiting on this. Finesse two times debut angles. Well, actually, this debut album. 90 days but first don't forget to hit subscribe to black tv for more views more reactions hit that like button and in the comment section below tell me what is your favorite song off of 90 days because this album right here for all the people that subscribe to my channel are majority memphis mid-south people and y'all i know y'all been following me because of my viral finesse two times money bag yo video so yeah put in the comment section and let me know so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into 90 days with track one going straight in two i'm gonna say another thing like he got handcuffed jewelry on my opinion about that uh, it's kind of creative, but me personally, I don't like that. Slide and keep it quiet. Remember, I was broke. I robbed La Rico for his joy. Five. Mom, I was at the bottom. I ain't hate on the ones at the top. top. 23 and 1. Isolation. Three meals in the cot. Going straight into it wasn't as good as the first one, bruh. Like, it, like, it was all right. I mean, it was just an okay song. It was all right, though. I mean, the instrumental was pretty good. Um, you know, but as for an intro, it's all right. I mean, I mean, if you're gonna call something, go straight in too. I mean, I would assume it would have the same type of level of like, yeah, this is gonna be hitting. But I mean, you know, I just think he putting too much music out. Personally, I mean, I can see on here that he's uh that he has only a couple of songs that videos that he already put out, but. You know, I think Steve, he been putting too much music out. So I don't I, I think it's it's a sense of being oversaturated with finesse two times right now. He should have just let it build up. I mean, put a video out maybe every blue moon until this project came out. But, you know, I, I, I put that on as a right now. That's why this song just didn't really hit for me. Plus, it's called Go Straight In too. It isn't it isn't, you know, equivalent to the first one. So, yeah, it, it's all right. It's all right. Track two outside. Bulletproof Cadillac, I'm moving around this bitch like Biden. Prison. They might as well pull the plug. Talking about murders in your rhymes, you might as well tell the judge. Yo, he is not lying about that. It's so many niggas right now self snitching in their music. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, that's the prosecution is gonna use that for evidence. Are you serious? Just look at the, the whole Young Thug Gunna Rico situation. Like, that's crazy. I don't like, I don't think it's going to be using that sense in that situation. But just look at that. I mean, they trying to use lyrics in y'all raps against y'all. So y'all like self-incriminate. I'm going to stick when it hit. I'm going to stand up, nigga. You a bitch, but he sit when he piss. <laughs> <laughs> this man say, I bet he sit when he piss. Bruh, that's some... Pause, nigga. That's a pause. Yo, now that that song out there is actually pretty good. The instrumental was good. He said a couple of bars and here and there, but you know it wasn't spectacular. But it was actually pretty good. It was all right. The next track is "Get Even." <laughs> I did a reaction to that. If you want to see it, check check the link. Check the link. Next track we got is "Finesse the P." I guess it's, I guess it means "Finesse the Plug" or "Finesse the Pussy." I don't know. Let's see. Let's try, let's find out. Hey, I was trying to get Julia to cover the motherfucker boob and spit some pee. You know what that nigga told me? I'm not leaving me for dead. Fuck your bitch on me. Fuck your bitch on All the game I invested. All the vacations and spots. I will treat all my hoes the same. I ain't got no favorite. Don't call me Ricky, bitch. You don't know me. Call me my alias. That track, it was decent. It was all right. It was, it was all right. Basically, exactly what I was saying in the beginning of the song. Exactly, he was just using the P as an, an entendre of certain stuff, what he was saying in the song. But, I mean, it's just a typical finesse two-time song. Next track we got is Rules to the Streets. I charge my losses to the game. My ex-God helped me forget them. And I steal whole grudges. I ex-God help me forgive them. Keep your business off of Facebook and Instagram. Don't never, ever talk if you fuck around and get slammed. Yo, 
he's not lying about that. Like it's like social media is a drug. Like you, you have to keep your business off of there if you don't want people to judge you. Like that's some real shit. No such thing as friends. No such thing as homies. Feed your mama and your kids. Stay out the way. Invest your money. Facts, nigga. Facts. Man, look, you gotta, you, you gotta make sure your your people straight, man. Especially the people that's around you, like. You have to invest your money, make sure your people around you quit trying to buy belts and shit. Now, if you have the money to actually do that, then do that. But like, that's why a lot of people are just broke because they try to invest their money and stuff that's not even even here. You know what I'm saying? So, so he 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 speaking facts on it. He's spitting facts on that. It ain't in the streets. Try your best not to beef. That shit ain't good when you eating. Yo, that song, that song right there was some, he was spitting a lot of facts on that, bruh. Like, it ain't good to be beefing if if you getting bread out here because, you know, you, I mean, like, like, look at the whole takeoff situation. Like, Quavo behind the scenes, he could, he could retaliate, he could. But let's say, let's hypothetically say he do retaliate. Like, how that's going to look on his situation as far as, you know, his career and all that stuff, and then all, his, all the people that's under him, he can't, he, they they can't strive because I'm pretty sure he got people employed. You know, he's taking care of people up under him. But yeah, that song right there, rule rules to the game. You know, it, he was spending some heat on there. Next track is still with it. <music> Off the rip, the beat is hard. Hardest beat, hardest beat on the album so far. Hardest beat. This. This rap shit over for niggas better start investing. This finna get messy, messy. When you see the type is being tough for your rhyme, be y'all wearing Cali when shit getting serious. Yo, I like everything about this song. The only thing is, the only thing, I just wish it just had courses in it, bro. I just wish it had courses in it. Like, like, I ain't, I'm, I'm not really crying about the structures of the song and i know this that's a finesse two-time thing like he just rapped straight through certain beats and instrumentals but yeah i would actually like this to be a real song though because it's a take he beat it sound good he's spitting bars on it pretty good i like the kill bill uh analogy in it too i like that. next track is back in you know did a reaction to that video check the link check the link Next track is Nobody featuring Gucci Man. Gucci! It's so thank he all in. Ain't no nigga, no nigga, no nigga, nobody. Never treat me like a sucker, never that. And got on all of my jury in public. If it meant to happen, then fuck it. Ain't doing no ducking. Man, bruh. He said if it happens, in, it happens when he's in public. He said he ain't doing no ducking. So you mean to tell me, like, he, he want people to try to get his jury in public bro if that ain't i don't know if this uh that's a thin line bet between brave and stupidity started off local so you never heard of try to black bomb me i jumped every heard of is it just me or does gucci man vocals sound kind of muffled in this track right here it like it's it like it wasn't his his vocals wasn't mastered or nothing like that that's just i don't know it sound weird to me bitch telling in a speed tail screaming for 12 because it's a v12 oh that song that song was all right but i don't know it was it's was like gucci man vocals it was kind of like kind of muffled or whatever i mean it's a cool song you know just something that i would expect for this two times to make but you know it wasn't it sound like it sound like more like he had the song already and he just through Gucci man on the song. That's just my personal opinion. Next track we got is Lil Baby. Shout out to Jen for holding me down. Holding me Shout down. out to Houston, I'm moving I'm around. They called me. Shout it was thick, I thought she had a BBA. She said, baby, this all my bad. I like my song. It's like, a like it's a hood finesse two times love song. That's basically what it is. Like, I don't know. It seems like this, that's a standard, like for a rapper to have a song catering to some kind of female is a must on the album. And this this is it right here. Overall, it's all right. I mean, he's spitting Memphis Pippin shit on here. Basically, that's all it is. Next track is Overdose, and it's a music video. I haven't seen it, so let's, let, let's go ahead and react to it. Got me talking slurs, slurs. Park the rafe on the curb Skirt. Make sure one in the head Secure me while I count this bread This man is in the hospital With nothing but women, bruh Nothing but women I love it Do the show, shake the spot, spot. Miss some thoughts and a lot We finna turn this up a notch Take this dick, bitch, stop pushing me Face 
in the pillar, bitch, don't look at me. I eat like a boss, but I feed groupie bitches steak and shake and Bruh. <laughs> It's like in every song he like he look I eat steak and potatoes I'm I'm feeding her McDonald's I'm feeding her steak and shake hey and as, and as he should as he should he he's a high value man bro he got money he don't I mean he got money she sucked me on camera so good I damn near posted it I'm joking though man he said she was sucking so good that he almost posted it I ain't, I don't know if you really want to do that bro I don't really know if you just really want to do that that's kind of <sighs> incriminating yo I, li I like this music video I like it yo I see exactly what he was trying to do in this song right here he's trying to make uh, something that can do people can do on TikTok trend and you know I think I think I think it's actually gonna work I mean I'm not a sidekick but I mean it's smart it's pretty clever and, and the song is all right it's pretty decent next track is Black Visa featuring Moneybag yo um I actually did a video reaction to that so we're gonna skip that next track is Humble uh it's a music video I haven't seen this one so let's check it out Wow, wow, this shit hit like Lil Baby. Wow, wow, I'm on that neck like an April. Uh, they send a shot, send me like a bartender. Like a bartender. I'm gonna shoot like a wild limo. Yeah, that, I mean, that music video was all right. It's like, to me personally, it sound more of like a throwaway song. It sound like a throwaway song. Next track we got is If You Still With Me featuring Lil Baby. Do it to him cause I can. Damn. Outfit a couple grand. Damn. Post a picture on the ground. Go get the money and steal them. Ain't called you back cause I'm still busy. Man, I don't know. I don't know about this little this little baby um feature. Like, I don't know. It just it just, to me it seemed like little baby just fell off just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I just like the chorus already. I'm not I'm not feeling it, bro. We're facing 30 years minimum. No lawyer minimum. fees, bro. That shit was critical. Critical. You if a nigga wanna buy a pussy, I'm a sinner. I ain't split shit with you. Nah. Bitch, I need uh man, I mean that song. It was all right. I mean, Lil Baby really didn't add any more zest to that. The instrumental was pretty mid. You no, know, it was a mid song. It was just a mid song. Next track is Some Old, and it's a music video. Uh, I think I seen a little bit of it, but let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, shit. I'm getting better at showing. Still a break on the hoe. I need some more, some more, some more, some more, some more. Some more. I need some more, some more, some more, some more, some more. You took that bitch on a date, bought her a steak, took her to your place. Man, what's up with finesse two times? He was his correlation with women and food. It's like he letting it be known that I don't give a damn about none of these women. They gonna get this mediocre fast food. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he said he bought a McDouble and a fry. It, this nigga right here straight. He, this nigga so Memphis, bro. And even got no IG. She ain't looking for no fame. Nah. Bro, if you meet a female that don't have no IG or no social media, and she bad, bro, you need to you need to go ahead and lock her down, bro, because that's a special type of. Woman, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yo, that I, I like I like the visuals on this song because it's it's like I ain't gonna it, it's like more of a like a low budget but like a classical type feel video. Now as far as the song goes, the song is catchy as hell. I think as far as all of the 15 tracks on this album, this is the catchiest song right here. It, it is when it will go on my playlist. Yeah, so the last song on here is Go. I ain't riding no rap nigga dick. No. I don't need no rap nigga cosign. No. I ain't having to these groovy bitches. No. Niggas beefing on songs, they dry snitching. Wanna snitchin'. get me locked up, can't do nothing with me. That track, that track was all right. I mean, it was a, a really standard finesse two time song with just him talking his ish. That's basically what it is. I mean, it's all right, you know, it's decent. So there you have it, finesse two times brand new album 90 days and i must say it's exactly what i expected from from finesse two times and that's a good thing like majority of this song, this album is exactly what like i said exactly what i expect he's he's spitting bars here and there he, i he, i will say he's a southern lyrical 
artist and he actually brought that to the, to this album the most lyrical track to me on here is uh rules to the streets because he really was speaking games about the street stuff you should really do in the in this in the streets and what you should like to should and should not my only gripe is the intro i like the fact that he used xo as far as his uh production majority of it it's like it's like they're like a, a, a duo because like they both actually sound pretty good together my least favorite song on this album i will say if you still with me featuring little baby like if you have a little baby feature i would assume it will have it will be more it will sound better than what it did especially especially with a little baby track feature on here and i'm not gonna lie the black visa with money bad yo really disappointed me when i actually seen the music video it's like like it's money bag yo and finesse two times this song right here should have been a big highlight of the album but it actually wasn't to me it was like a, a mid song but i will say overall the album do sounds pretty good i would give this album a six out of ten which is an above average album like i would say the average listener if you like something about finesse two times just go ahead and take go ahead and peep it out but i don't think this is a classic but it just sounds a like a very good album i mean you know he got he's talking about the women he takes to mcdonald's and he's eating steak and steak is shaking all day that's just funny to me they're just funny to me but the most important question is what do you think of finesse two times 90 days do you like it do you love it put your favorite song in the comments tell me how am i wrong what's your favorite song what's your least favorite song what you don't like about that put that in the comment section below and until next time i holla next time on black tv